All right, I got a question in one of my videos in the comments section about how to set a fan curve in MSI Afterburner. It's relatively simple. So you can see I'm using the stock skin for MSI Afterburner. You may be using one of the other skins that may be red or blue, and it may be in a different configuration laid out horizontally, um, or it may look just look different. But what we need is there's going to be a user defined button and there's also going to be a settings button. We're going to use both of these. So by default, the user defined button is going to be off. We're going to go into settings and we're going to go over here to fan. And by default, this checkbox will also not be checked. This is enable user defined software automatic fan control. We want to click that. When we do, we're going to get this graph and this graph is going to look much different than this. You're going to go ahead and set your own graph by grabbing these points right, that are known as nodes and you're going to move them. Right? And so we can change completely how this uh, fan curve reacts just by changing the graph, grabbing these nodes. You can also delete nodes, you can add nodes, you can have up to eight nodes in Afterburner once you're done, you need to click OK. I'm going to cancel out of this because I like my curve. But once you do click OK, the user defined should automatically be set. If it's not, go ahead and click it. And what happens is you get around the fan speed slider. It highlights in green, or in your case, it may be red or it may be blue. So once this is set, we now have our custom fan speed being run by MSI Afterburner. And as you can see, in the short period of time that we've been running this video, we've gone from 37 degrees up to a max of 46. Now that the custom fan curve is set back in there, we're going to drop back down slowly. Fan speed, as you can see, went from zero all the way up to 37% when we were running on the stock curve and now it is slowly dropping back down and that will be, continue to be the case as the temperature slowly trends down. So that's how you set the user-defined fan curve in MSI Afterburner. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. We will be bringing more videos, hopefully with higher quality audio in the very near future. Thanks again for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video.